I'm getting kind of hungry. Yeah, I could eat. <laughs> Wrong. I thought I heard something. Probably just an animal. Yeah. Foolish mortals walking and famish. What brings you out on this cold night? Dude, it's like 89 degrees out. I have but one question for you. What is it? Wanna buy a bucket? One of the oldest snacks in American history, discovered all the way back in 4700 BCE. Earliest, actually, we've known is uh, 1948 in New Mexico. Popcorn's been, been being popped for thousands of years, let's be honest here. Uh, the fact that this snack has gone and on as, as long as it has, and is still going strong to this day with new flavors and new varieties all the time, th this is truly the never-ending snack. And, uh, you know, Disneyland first opened, and Walt Disney, you can see footage of him and pictures of him walking around with his box of popcorn. Now, as you guys could tell by that horrible intro, <laughs> I am not a big YouTuber, so I don't have a lot of the budget to be making a giant <laughs> animated uh, intro like you got, like I, I did, you guys. I do the best I can. I, I do what I can. I just now started being able to afford my first Roosevelt shirt. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> uh, do I look like the next Steven Spielberg? No. Anyway, uh, I have been a big collector of the popcorn buckets and the sippers ever since I collected my very first one, which was going to be, I believe, my Oogie Boogie from a big fair that we went to that had a big garage sale type thing, and they had an Oogie Boogie popcorn bucket, and I ended up buying that sucker up quicker than anything. And that opened up a new world for me in the way of collecting souvenir popcorn buckets. And they didn't just stop with souvenir popcorn buckets. No, they wanted to go a little step further and go, let's do some souvenir drinks as well. You want to drink your fruit punch out of Timon's skull? You go right ahead and do that. You want to drink your Coca-Cola straight out of the hat box ghost hat? Have at it. You want to store popcorn in your favorite golden retriever? Who's stopping you? Absolutely nobody. The fact that Disney is constantly evolving, not only within their parks, but within their merchandise, is just showing how exciting our future is going to be when it comes to Disney. The fact that we're getting all these new theme parks, all these new sections to our theme parks, uh, the fact that, you know, not only that, but there's going to be merchandise going alongside that. And it's even going outside of the Disney parks. Universal Studios has even started getting their own types of popcorn buckets. I believe Un Universal Japan or something has a How to Train Your Dragon popcorn bucket. Like, where do we get that? Are we going to get one? I would love a toothless. I love to eat my popcorn out of toothless. I mean, come on. But... I have to say, it just gets weirder and weirder. The theme park souvenir cups and souvenir buckets. And I even asked a question a while back, like, what do y'all do with your buckets? Do you guys, do you guys actually like use them on a frequent basis? Do you guys, I mean, the first time I ever used a popcorn bucket was last night when we filmed that footage. And I mean, I didn't even think I screwed up and left the bucket in the background. So it was like a big pumpkin bucket sitting right there. But the fact that like, Disney just keeps coming up with all these new ideas. Like I've got my favorite one right here is going to be my Hatbox Ghost Sipper. Let's see if he'll focus in on it. This guy is freaking amazing. And he has a little button right here on his back. I don't think it's gonna show very well, but you can see, there we go. 
he kind of lights up. I don't have the way of doing it, but his face lights up and everything. It's really flipping cool. You get your drink right out of the back of his head and uh, how you refill it, just like that. That's how you do it. You refill them up through there and there's like a little magnetic strip right there. Of course, it's gonna focus on everything but me or on, on everything but what I need it to. But this guy landed me $60 to order him online. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite items that I own. Not only just Disney merchandise, but Haunted Mansion alone. This guy is flipping awesome. And a lot of the times, people don't even end up using these for what they're meant to be. I don't know how many people actually order these on or like buy them in the parks and drink out of them. I've seen most people will either buy like a crap ton of them and end up using them in the, uh, not even using them, but reselling them. Or you get a lot of people who will just buy them and put them up like I do. Like I said, I've never used any of the items I actually had. In fact, I had a Timon sipper and that I got from Animal Kingdom, but I think I bought that just as like a, a fear of missing out. I ended up getting rid of it, but kind of kicking myself for doing that. But I've got, I, I don't own nearly as many popcorn buckets as I would like to. In fact, I think that collection is just now starting to build up. There's one that's Sully that I really want to keep my eye out for. It's ridiculous, guys. It's absolutely phenomenal how many different popcorn buckets you can find and drink sipper cups. I would have to say that the amount is now up in the hundreds of the different types they have. I mean, they go as far as to be as functional as possible. You can buy a popcorn bucket that is shaped like the Pizza Planet truck, or you can even buy a popcorn bucket that is shaped like the mayor's vehicle from Nightmare Before Christmas that I think even makes music. I don't know. The fact that not only that, do you want it to light up? That's cool. You can have it light up and that looks really nice. They have a popcorn bucket right now where you put popcorn or candy in Mickey's butt and you, it is a light up and it's like the pumpkin lights up and everything. It is super cool to just see all these different products and how they're making them and how they're evolving them to go as far as freaking, now they talk. You don't want it to just light up. You want it to converse with you. That's fine we can do that we can make them talk back i've got here possibly i would say if not my favorite popcorn bucket that i own i've got my hat box ghost sipper that is one of my favorite that is my favorite it's my only sipper that i own but my, my all-time favorite sipper and then my all-time favorite popcorn bucket and uh that's saying something because i had to oh the amount of work i had to do online to find the Figment popcorn bucket, the like holy grail of popcorn buckets if you are a Walt Disney World fan. But this guy right here is a pass holder exclusive from Disneyland uh, with their Pixar Fest. And this guy is absolutely gorgeous. He gets a fancy little, see if I can get it to focus here, gets a fancy little band with that cartoon style of Doug. And I believe it's got Kevin and Russell and everything. It's got a dog bowl. But the one thing about this, not only is it because it's my favorite breed of dog, I love golden retrievers. Uh, I mean, you guys know I have my golden retriever, Neytiri. But uh, not only that, it, it's, it's a beautiful piece. It's a good sized bucket. It's not small by any means. This thing is huge. But my favorite feature about this bucket is that it... See? Oh, he doesn't want to focus. It talks. It's got a little floppy tongue. It talks. What more do you want from a popcorn bucket? I mean, they just gave us Doug in the parks. They're finally bringing park, uh, Doug to the parks again. And then they give us this dopey little goober right here. I mean, I could not be happier. And on top, along with that, they gave us a... Uh, Disney has gone to the dogs with these items, with these popcorn buckets, because they ended up giving us a sipper that is slinky where he's got like a solid like plastic tube that goes from the, the front half to the back half and then the straw circles down underneath. I think I've got the footage on right as I'm talking, but you, you get the designs. I would love to be the person who sits in that office at Disney. They're creative and I don't know if Imagineers playing a role in this, but just be like, what haven't we made a popcorn bucket of? We've got, and actually I, I lied, I do have another sipper. I've got my, uh, where, where is she? Let me see if I can find her. She's literally right behind me. But I've got my little Madame Leota sipper. Uh, again, never used. I love these because they're, they're nifty because they actually say, 
Like it'll say, let me see if I can focus there. Disney Parks. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. Hide behind it. Disney Parks. And then we have, you know, your straw is on top. Actually, mine is still sealed. No, wait, you push it and a little rubber straw comes out. So you literally just comes out like that. But it's just, it's a beautiful piece. I love it. It makes, I wish it were actually bigger. And uh, compared to the Hatbox Ghost sipper, uh, you're gonna be getting a lot more sips out of this than you would this. And she's cool because I believe she, I, I don't, you can see it underneath, but she fades to different colors. And it's again, one of my favorite pieces because it's one Haunted Mansion. I'm never gonna turn down Haunted Mansion sippers. If they want to give me a really good Haunted Mansion sipper, oh wait, they already did. The three hitchhiking ghosts back here. They they gave us three. Now those were actually, I believe, for the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion. I got those three, uh, thankfully, on uh, Mercari, which is a website that I actually shop a lot on. And uh, you guys should definitely check out Mercari. A lot of really cool items. That's where I got my hat box sipper, my Doug, my hitchhiking ghost, my figment, like everything I own, I've gotten from Mercari pretty much. Uh, one of the sippers, or it's not a sipper, it's a popcorn bucket that I actually have out in my shed with all my other Christmas decor is a, it's like a Snoop or Snoopy. It's a Pluto popcorn bucket and he's wearing a sweater and he's got like, it, it's adorable as all get out. But I don't know if we, do we have a zero popcorn bucket yet? If we don't, yes! where is it? If we do, I'm gonna be doing some Googling later. But like the fact that Disney goes so all out with their just, they want you to enjoy your food, but now they want you to have like a toy to take with your food. It's like the ultimate happy meal is a, a popcorn bucket that can either be used as an action figure or a vehicle. Like the cars actually have rolling wheels. Some of them even have pieces that come off that you can have as like a separate toy. Like the, uh, the Pizza Planet trucks had a little alien inside. And then they had even more fun with it during Pixar Fest where those little trucks were all around the different parts of the park with their own theming dedicated to where they were located. So if you had like a Star Wars area, you had a truck that had some Star Wars theming on it. And I think the aliens were even wearing little costumes inside as well. Like this is the point where I don't even know if I'm going to a gift shop when I go to Disney or if I'm going straight there to be like, all right, what's the new popcorn buckets that I'm gonna be picking up while I'm here? And they are always coming out with these really cool new designs. The one that's currently out that I'm really wanting and I'm gonna be picking it up is the Mickey Mouse wearing the pumpkin. And it it, it lights up, like that jack lantern looks really cool. And then they have a Mickey pumpkin sipper. I mean, that even lights up. So I mean, the fact that they're going all out like they do is absolutely ridiculous. And I don't even think Walt Disney even expected this type of stuff to happen. We always started off with those classic red and white or plastic or even cardboard popcorn containers that you would get either at a theme park, a baseball game, specifically baseball games. And what's next though? Like they make pop or popcorn buckets and then they have sippers. Are you gonna start making like like hot dog holders in the shape of like characters from Disney movies? Are we gonna get a slinky dog popcorn holder? Can, or a hot dog holder? Can we get a, here's, here's, hear me out, hear me out. Not only do we get them here in Ameri in the Americas, but we also get them also outside. Like you get, uh, I think it was Hong Kong Disneyland got a ghost bucket or something like that. It's a Mickey Mouse, Hong Kong, or uh, it's not, it's like a ghost. It's just a basic ghost. But the, like I said, the amount of, of designs that they have given us over the years of just these simple pieces of plastic that have evolved to be so much more. And they, they give you like so much extra to go along with it. Like you get these lanyards and this lanyard is flipping awesome. You get the cool look of the, of the hat box ghost there. See if I can match my eyes up. Ooh. But it, they're always so cool. And some of them, like that one will say Disney Parks. And then you have some, like, I think the uh, the Doug one may say, um, like it's a park or a pass holder exclusive. So, and, and you even get popcorn buckets for people that aren't even, you know, you have to be a pass holder to get that bucket. I know alongside that in the Slinky Dog Sipper, you're gonna be getting a, it, it's like a guitar, it's Miguel's, 
guitar or um, Hector, not, not Hector, but uh, the, the one guy who, Dela Cruz, you get his guitar, which is really cool. I don't know if it makes any noise. I don't think it does, but you could really sell on this. They come out with every holiday. They come out, like I say, the, the amount that they make is ridiculous and there's no ending to this whatsoever in the future. I think we've got a lot going on here in the near future that can just, it's gonna be ridiculous. I can't imagine what we're gonna be getting for Christmas this year or maybe next year's Halloween. I am extremely excited. I'm excited for this Halloween. I don't think we've had any shown anything. The one that I want, well, we have that Mickey one. The one that I really want, it's very small. It's not very big at all. I think it's a sipper, but it's just Donald Duck as a candy corn. Like, I need that in my life. Like, these are great mantelpieces. You know, I don't, finding a decent sized statue for, you know, your mantles or whatever, it's kind of difficult. But if you can find, you know, something as simple as this to just put up on your mantle next to your, I've got all my Haunted Mansion stuff right behind me here. And I'm, I've got so much more still to come. But there's all this room on my mantle and on my shelves for all of my popcorn buckets. And I'm like, where do I put them all? I don't know. I would love to know what you guys think about all these. What, what, how many popcorn buckets do you have? Are you collecting them all? Are you guys going as, as in depth as a lot of other people are? Are you going as far as to wait in line for several hours for this booger right here? Like, I, I did not. I ended up landing him for $100 on Mercari. $100. I'm pretty sure he was like $40 in the parks with food in his back. I paid $100. And that was cheap. $100 for a popcorn bucket, a piece of plastic of your favorite purple dragon. Well, your second favorite purple dragon. But, you know, it's, it's ridiculous that people are willing to pay that. And I'm one of those people. I paid... 50 bucks for Doug here, 50. I'm sure he was 30 or 40 in the parks, if you're a pass holder. So I'm not a pass holder yet, but if I were, I'd get him. But if I were to go into the parks and I'd be like, Doug popcorn bucket, I gotta get it. And then I go to buy him and they're like, sorry, you're not a pass holder. I'd be leaving that park extremely depressed. I truly would because it's Doug. You can't, I'm getting progressively more like shaggy. I swear, <laughs> scoop, like, Jeez. Anyway, let me know what you guys think below. Do you guys have a lot of popcorn buckets? Are you guys kind of leveled on it? Do you not have that many? What do you do with them? Do you put them up? Do you switch them out each year? You know, do you put your Halloween ones up for Halloween? Do you put them all up on one big shelf? Or are they all just sitting in your cabinets cl collecting dust? Let me know below. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave your best hitchhikers thumbs up. And of course, possess that subscription button if you want to catch more Disney content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ah, there you are. I see you made it to the end of the video. We quite enjoyed having you with us. Please remember to possess the subscription button. <laughs> we are dying to see you again. Oh, and don't forget to bring your death certificate. <laughs>